All right, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tina and I'm a full-time reseller. And today I'm bringing you part two of my yard sale haul. This one has a couple of my favorite things. So I'm super excited to share this stuff with you. Let's get into it. All right, then I got a couple of embroidery. This is, this looks like an old schoolhouse to me. This is not, covered or anything like that. It looks like the back might have gotten wet at one point, but it was a dollar. I'll throw this up on on Etsy for probably about 24, I would say on this one. And then then I picked up this one. I grabbed this right out from under one of my viewers. <laughs> She was buying something else and I spotted this first. So I grabbed it up and then she's like, Tina, <laughs> you know who I'm talking about if you're watching this. <laughs> so uh, it was all in good fun though. She didn't see it and I, I did pick it up. So it's, uh, it's pretty nice. It's not covered again. And I will definitely put this up on Etsy for, I don't know probably around $25 for this one too. And then, let's see here. All right, so then at another sale, another one of the sales, I picked this up. This is a B. Mikowski purse. It's got a mug in it. But yeah, this is a B. Mikowski. Uh, she wanted eight and I ended up paying six super cool kind of like a hobo bag b mikowski does really well for me as far as purses go so uh and then i got this today is a good day and opal house so that's from target i wanted this for myself and i asked her how much it was and she told me to just take it so that's what i did got myself a new mug for free all right, so then one of the sales I was at, I picked these up. These are bear traps, Mary Janes. Bear traps sell okay for me. These will probably bring $20, I would guess. And I believe I paid one for those, maybe two. And then I got this sealed Eternity Calvin Klein cologne, 1.7 ounce. I'm not sure how much this is selling for currently, but it is new and sealed and I paid $4 for it. And this right here, I thought was kind of cool. It's a leather bound recessional and vampire by Kipling. It's got a little wear, but it's very old and i just thought it was cool and i forget how much he charged me for this maybe a dollar i wish i remembered but i really i really don't i was trying to see if there was a date in here and i don't see one. Oh, someone actually wrote on here looks like 1910 and yes it does look like it's stamped 1910. So I thought that was kind of a cool find. And this is where, oop. <laughs> I am such a mess. Okay. <laughs> where chefs eat. I just thought it was kind of a cool looking book and it might be interesting to someone and it was 50 cents. So I will have to look that up. I love when the stickers are still on. So then I don't have to be like, oh, I can't remember. All right, so then I was gonna pick these or put these back. I was gonna put these back cause I was like, eh, I don't know. They look a little too worn and whatever. And she had already like kind of um, figured out a price with these included so i just got them so these are just clark's artisans like another mary jane the bottoms aren't bad but the i don't know the toes just look kind of worn to me so yeah then i picked up this guy 
it's kind of a a clown like a lacquered a lacquered kind of clown it's got this sticker on the back and lucky store and by everything else on this it leads me to believe that this was purchased in Italy so it was a dollar so I figured I'd pick it up I picked this up this is the great courses some of these sell for a lot of money. I've sold some of these for $50, $60, anywhere, and anywhere between $20 and $60. So it was five bucks, I picked this up. I actually have one more sitting around that I do have to get listed. Then I picked these three games up. This is The Incredibles PS2. And then we have two, two different Mario games for the Wii. I will probably wait till I get another one or two of these. I like to lot the Mario ones together and then they sell pretty well. I sold a lot of three for I believe like $44 a few weeks ago. So I will probably wait till I get one or two more of these, put them together. This one I will have to look up, but I paid $5 for all three of them. And then I picked this up. This is a Michael Jackson microphone still in the box. This is from the 80s and it's got, the box has a little bit of wear. Um, he had a $5 asking price, but I ended up paying three. It doesn't look like it's going for a whole lot on eBay. Unfortunately, I might try to throw this on Etsy. I know there's, you know, Michael Jackson has really become kind of like a scandalous, a scandalous, uh, character uh so i don't really know but i think i had this when i was a kid i used to love michael jackson like when i was like five years old michael jackson was the man he was like my favorite but like i said unfortunately now you know i'm gonna try to sell it anyway so then i picked these up for a dollar this set they're uh oh it's a gary salt and pepper shakers thought they were really cute little houses i don't think they're chipped or anything i looked them over and i didn't see any but i will have to look them over again then i got this for a dollar i know this was in the video as well it's got paper shoved in here but it's just a vase and the insert does lift out very pretty pierced morning glory vase lennox and can't go wrong lennox for a dollar Come on. Then I picked this up. Peace on Earth. I'd settle for peace in my classroom. This will be a great gift for a teacher. So I picked these up. These are Jakari designs. I've never heard of them. I haven't really been able to find anything online, but these are kind of cool. They're like pewter and I don't know, that's kind of like some kind of a clay type type deal maybe. They're pins. This is a like a baby grand piano and this is another one with uh what is that the treble clef so i thought those were kind of neat like i said I, I couldn't really find anything when i tried to look those up but i'll try again these you saw at the beginning of the video these are just italian shoemakers i paid a little more for these than i normally would for this brand i did pay four dollars but they should sell pretty quick in the summer for about 18.99 I picked this beaded necklace up because I just thought it was so cute. It's all beaded. It's like a little purse. You can actually put something, you can slide something in there. I'm not sure what you would slide in there. I mean, you could probably even like fold up a $20 bill and put it in there, but just thought it was kind of neat. Boho, boho like. That I believe I paid a dollar for. I picked this up because with the Avengers Endgame being out, I thought this might do well. It's a little like, it would hang off your like keychain or, or backpack or whatever, but it's Thor's hammer. So I figured it was 25 cents. I'll take a shot on that. I should get that listed as soon as possible though before the, before the hype is over, right? All right, now I'm gonna show you this. This is, definitely probably my most favorite find okay and I couldn't believe by the time I got to the sale it was I think around 11 o'clock and the woman had told me that people were there since six in the morning I could not believe that this was still there 
it's like, what? This right here, and y'all know I am not a big fan of chickens, but I will certainly sell them. This is one of those chickens on a nest, but I have never seen one like this. I don't think I have them on there right. I don't know. I don't know. But it's like a kind of like a frosted glass and I don't know if you can see that in there. That is Westmoreland. That is what that is. So this is a Westmoreland and it's got a little little tiny thing right here but I don't even think that that's like a chip. I think that's just a manufacturer thing. Otherwise, I mean, it's a little dusty, but this is just beautiful. So this is a Westmoreland chicken on a nest type deal. And I have not seen any exactly like this. And I have not seen any, I tried to look this one up online. So I think that this is one of the rarer ones. And I definitely think that this little guy is gonna bring good money. I really do. So I was super excited. I paid $5 for this one, $5. So then at the same house, I bought some chopsticks, which I'm gonna give to my daughter. And I bought a set of these. They come with the saucers too. I'm not going to dig those out right now, but they all have the saucers. I think, let me see. One, two, three. There's four of them, I believe. These are Arabia Finland in the Valencia pattern. Look those up. They do very, very well. I mean, Arabia Finland in general is a very good brand. Uh, but yeah, these set of four paid five dollars so that's another another one of my favorite buys from the day super excited about those all right so then i have one last bag of stuff to show you guys and then that wraps it up this is mainly clothes i believe i honestly don't remember what i paid for this entire bag I was just grabbing stuff and putting it in there and she gave me a price at the end. So, I mean, they're all marked different prices, but she did give me money off. So these are just a Chico So Slimming size zero, but they're in very good condition. Try to go through this here. This is the workshop. I don't know, it's kind of a nice top. Never heard of the brand though. This is another pair of Chico So Slimming, which does really well for me. These are like a cropped, maybe they're not cropped, they look cropped. Uh, let's see here, American Eagle shorts, these sell fantastic this time of the year. Another pair of Chico's So Slimming, a pair of jeans. Then we have a White House Black Market dress. This right here is a Lulu's. I love Lulu's, it's a good brand to sell. This is a little dress. And then this is also a Lulu's piece. This is a red kind of like flared bell sleeve type deal, really cute. And then I have a Chico's. I sold one very similar to this a couple of weeks ago. This is a size three, just like an open front cardigan. And then, okay, and then <laughs> I just had to edit out a near death experience because when I first pulled these out of the bag, there was a big spider crawling across them and I almost died. So <laughs> now that that's over with, this is a pair of Bionics, last thing I bought. So pretty nice condition. That's gonna wrap it up guys. So I hope you liked this video. I hope you liked this haul. If you did, give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below. Let me know what your favorite find is. Let me know if you know anything about that Westmoreland chicken. Like I, I'm pretty sure that's a rare one.
All right, guys, I was a little flustered by that spider at the end, so didn't really say a proper goodbye. So until next time, bye.